Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see how to turn off lights with time delay using PLC. So first of all, let us understand our problem definition. Initially, when the user will press the system on, all the lights of office, door and parking should become on. Now when user will leave the office, he or she will off the system. So initially, building lights should become off instantaneously, but exit light or door light should remain on for additional 5 seconds. After that, door light will also become off, but parking light should remain on for another 5 seconds. And finally, all the lights should be turned off. Not here that. For simulation purpose, we have reduced the delay of timing. So let us understand the input wiring required for this project. As you can see, we have only one input on off button. So first of all, we will connect ground terminal to the sourcing of PLC and we will take 24 volt DC supply and connect it to one terminal of our on off switch. Another terminal of this switch, we will connect it to X0 position. Now we will understand the output wiring required for this project. You can see these are our digital outputs. So first of all, we will take ground from here and connect it to common terminal of this digital outputs. Now our output is working on 230 volts supply. And we cannot on off this directly from relay because this has lower ampere capacity. So we will first energize relay from the outputs of PLC and this relay will on off this contactor for the particular lights. So first of all understand the input wiring of this relay. We will connect 24 volt supply to each terminal of relay as you can see over here. Now another terminal of relay input we will connect it to Y0 position. Similarly here another terminal we will connect it to Y1 position. And here another terminal of relay to Y2 position. Now let us understand the output wiring of this relay. In the common terminal of each relay, we will connect 230 volt phase. Now you can see over here this is the NO terminal. So if this relay is on, common and NO terminal will be closed and power will flow from here, which will energize this contactor. Similarly, NO terminal of this relay connected to this contactor which is for door light, this was for building light and here it is for parking light. Another terminal of each contactor we will connect it to neutral supply. So in this way if the Y0 will be on, this relay will be on and it will on this building lights and if the Y0 is off, this relay will be off, so these lights will be off. Similarly, this and this will work. Now let us understand the logic required to create this project. So as soon as the switch X0 is pressed on, our all outputs Y0, Y1 and Y2 should be on. Now when switch X0 is pressed off, then first of all Y0 should be resetted instantaneously and it will start one timer T0. T0 will count up to 5 seconds and when it will complete its timing, it will reset Y1 that means our door light will be off and it will start another timer T1. And finally when the T1 will also complete its timing, it will reset Y2 that means the parking light will be off and it will also reset the timer T0. Now what will happen, this T0 will be off that will make this T1 also off. So ultimately all our outputs Y0, Y1 and Y2 will be off and both timer will become off just by turning off this timer. So let us start our programming. Open your ISP soft software from here. Click on new file. Confirm yes. Give name to our project.
first of all let us write device command list by clicking over here you can see this box has open so we have only one input that is our start stop button so here i will write start stop now click on y that is our outputs so first of all y0 is our office lights y1 is our door light y2 is our parking light here t0 is delay for door light t1 is delay for parking light close this box click on programs file and right click over it click on new file and just click ok over here so first of all here i will write network command on the lights first of all we will on the lights so here i am writing on the lights when the lights will be on when the x0 is on so select a contact from here right over here x0 just press enter now click over here now we want three outputs so here i will select coil and click for the three times you can see three outputs are created let us name it as y0 y1 and y2 so when this will be on this should set so double click over it and select set insert a network from here now when the switch is pressed off so here we have to select nc of x0 so we have selected the nc of x0 so what will happen if the x0 is off this bit will be on and if the x0 is on this code will on so now we write a network comment over here office light so as soon as we have make the system off office light that is our y0 should be resetted on the spot so select a coil from here y0 and double click over it to reset this now along with it we want to start one timer so go to functions block select all types and write over here tmr this is the mnemonics for timer now first of all we have to write the timer number t0 and here we need to write delay so here i will write 50 for 5 seconds because this is the 100 millisecond timer so 50 by 100 millisecond that will be 5000 milliseconds so ultimately it is 5 seconds now insert a network from here write a network comment on door light so select a contact from here write its address as t0 so after 5 seconds this t0 will become on and it will reset our door light so select coil from here it is y1 you can see this is door light and we have to reset this similarly here also we will start one timer t1 so again go to functions block select all types and write tmr and again here i will write t1 because we have used timer t0 over here so here we will use timer t1 and here also we, I will write 50 because here also we want 5 seconds delay. So this timer is delay for parking light. So now again insert a network from here. Here I will write press enter. So again I will select a contact from here. 
give its name t1 so when this will complete its timing this will become on and it will reset our y2 that is our parking lights select reset to make it reset again along with it we want to reset this t0 so this will off it will make this timer t1 also off so select a coil from here click over here so output will created in parallel right over here t0 and double click over here to reset this so after this all the outputs and all the timers will be resetted so this was all about our programming for this project first of all we have to delete this here we have only three outputs y0 y1 and y2 office light door light and parking light so this is all about our programming its hmi designing and simulation we will see in next video if you want to learn more examples like this just like and subscribe our youtube channel automationcommunity.com